I've been working on two projects, both of which fall under the general uh, umbrella of energy and gas analysis. What we're interested in is developing these nanoparticles, which in our case are small clusters of metal atoms, though they can be made of other materials, uh, for the purpose of catalyzing reactions that are important to, uh, to just energy in general, but specifically uh, we're very interested in the oxygen reduction reaction, which is you have an O2 molecule and you want to split it into two free oxygen atoms that can then react uh, generally with hydrogen. So th this reaction is very important if we start to think about using hydrogen as a fuel uh, storage <coughs> mechanism because it's needed both for um, what so such catalysts would be useful both for the production of hydrogen at the supply side and then also for the consumption of hydrogen, say, in the fuel cell. So uh, bulk platinum, just you know, a slab of platinum, is known to have good properties for this reaction. But if you cut it into small clusters, you know, varying in size, but say about 140 atoms, 1.7 nanometers in diameter, um, these tend to be really effective at, in terms of the amount of platinum that they require for the amount of catalytic activity you get at taking molecular oxygen and freeing it up for reaction. Um, and uh, the problem here is that when you, even if you, you know, find ways to use these things, there isn't really enough platinum in the world to make fuel cells for everyone. So another uh, approach to this is to make these four shell nanoparticles, which will consist of a core of one metal wrapped around with a shell of another metal. And we're also really interested in these. So the, the idea here is that you can sort of tune the catalytic properties by changing the metals, and, you can, and the goal is to find it, you know, a combination of inexpensive metals that can replicate the success of platinum.